Hi, we're going to introduce to you today the bilge cleaning system. My name's Dean Salthouse, I'm the director of Dean Salthouse Next Generation Boats and we build the Corsair range of boats. Uh, we have a, a very exciting opportunity to bring this uh, unit in and, and offer it to people um, and we have been very uh, impressed by this system. Basically it removes oil out of your bilge, so you can see Brett pour the oil into this uh, mocked up display we've set up for you. They're pouring in about three litres of second hand used oil into this lovely chilli bin, don't tell the wife I borrowed it. Uh, and very shortly he's going to turn it on and you're going to start to see how this uh, system removes the oil off the top of the water. Obviously uh, water and oil don't mix together and the oil sits around on top of a wet bilge. Um, so in older boats or, or deliberate wet bilge boats, um, this is always a problem how we get this oil off. We can't pump it over the side, there's huge fines these days for doing so. So you can see Brett's turned it on there. And basically this green tube that's in front of us there rotates around. It's a, a, a special type of a polymer plastic uh, designed to have the oil stick to it but also be very easy to, to clean off. So effectively the right hand tube is going up into the unit uh, via another, another tube that stops it and contains it. And then it goes through a roller system that allows it to be squeegeed off um, and then it returns back down. So you can see the tube on the left hand side is coming back into the trough clean. So it goes back into the, the bilge and as it goes down into the water it clicks up oil as well. So we can see on the left hand side that's the clean tube coming down. On the right hand side going up into the white tubes is the oil being sucked up off the top of the, the bath. And as it goes up into the unit on your right hand side there, the green unit, it goes through a, a squeegee system that extracts it off into another pipe and gravity feed brings it down into whatever container you want to put it into, whether it's into a tank uh, situation or whether you want to have a 20 litre pail or whatever it is, depending on the size of the usage of oil that you're, you're having going into your bilge. You can see now how efficient it is at actually removing the oil into that white bucket. So it's really got going now. It's going up the right hand pipe and the same amount obviously coming out into the to lower catchment area. What's amazing about the system is A how quickly it picks it up. It's on a timer. It's got a built in timer and it runs for uh, 20 minutes at a time and then it has a rest for an hour. So you just leave this thing hard wide on your boat. It's all set, it's automatic, you don't have to do anything with it and it'll just keep extracting the oil out at periods of time. So if you've got a slow leak or a drip, um, it'll just continue to keep collecting that oil up. And of course that stops it sloshing around. This oil is reusable, you can, um, you can use it for, uh, it can be used for biofuels or sold or even just disposed of. It's so much better than it going over the side into the water. It keeps our oceans clean but also these days with more use for second hand oil than there ever has been with the price of oil um, it's, it's usable and recyclable. So you can see now how still that oil is just roaring off the top of the surface of the tank. This is quite a confined area so it has a huge amount of oil sitting on top that it's drawing from. You'll see later on uh, as it starts to remove the oil that uh, and it gets less oil on the surface so it's still quite efficient at drawing it to itself. Quite amazing. So you can see now, as we close up, uh, have a little close up again, just, just how much oil is going off the surface of this water. Very, very efficient. No noise as such, very quiet unit. Uh, doesn't draw a lot of power, very low amperage um, drawage. They're, they're looking at the moment going into 230 volt and, uh, and also into. Um, 24 volt but at the moment this is set up on a 12 volt system we're just going to pick up the bucket and show you how much has come out already so we're, we're about four minutes in and that's how much oil it's moved off the top of the water uh, in four minutes very very impressive and it's just oil you can just see the the oil in there so obviously you can see on the top of the um, unit itself it's got some lugs there for, for fitting it so it can be screwed up under the uh, the floor or your sole of your your vessel or it can also be screwed onto the bulkhead um, onto a vertical bulkhead face uh, and then you just basically lower these tongues down into your your wet bilge area you just need to make sure that it's passing through 
uh, the surface level of your water level if you like. It's quite a long uh, tongue on it, it's about 400 millimeters long, so there's quite a, a wide variance of amount of water that you could have in your bilge. Um, and obviously it's, uh, it's okay to, to pump your bilges to a certain level because the uh, pickups from at the bottom of the water where there is no oil, but um, it's very important that it just passes through that oil slick. So now you can see five minutes in, still a huge amount of oil going up that uh, right hand pipe and also still the same amount of oil coming down into the, into the bucket and filling that bucket. You can just see in front of us on the left hand one, you'll see that a bit later on as the water starts to clear. In fact you can just see the water starting to clear in the bottom right hand corner there now. Um, so we're getting down to the, to the main bulk of the oil coming off the top of the surface and very, very shortly you'll see uh, the water completely starting to clear in areas. And then you get a really good view of how efficient these tubes are. So a seven minute mark coming up here. You can see how efficient these tubes are at getting the uh, oil, the last of the oil, off the off the surface, if you like, of the the tank. So here we are now. You can just see it there as a close up. You can see the right hand tube again is pulling the oil towards it. I think what happens is that as it removes the oil off the surface, it actually creates a a vacuum if you like so as it removes oil then there's more room for the oil to be drawn towards it and it, and it tends to draw it towards itself uh, shortly we'll have a look at the front or the left hand tube as it goes down into it and you can see how efficient that is it, it appears to me that the the tube going down into the water uh, is way more efficient than the tube coming out it seems to draw more oil towards it uh, and you'll see that as we start to clear the tank now you can see the the white tank on the right hand side of the screen there um, and that obviously represents effectively all the oil gone off the surface already. Um, pretty impressive considering how much oil was sitting on there. Now here we have a close up of the left hand tube going down into the water and you can just see it drawing the oil towards itself. And you can just see it as it touches the pipe, it attaches to the pipe, gets dragged under the water and it goes down through uh, the bottom section of the T-piece and then goes up the right hand tube and into the into the device. So this is at the 10 minute mark, you can see already just in 10 minutes how much oil it's pulled off. If we have a look here again, Brett will tip the bucket over for us. Look how much oil is in that bucket that's come through. Just incredible, eh? Very, very efficient. You can actually see that the oil is starting to slow down coming out of this pipe. So that's, that's showing us now, those drips are slowing down where it was a continuous stream before. You can see here as we, we um, focus back on the top of the test bed, look at that, it's, most of the oil has gone. I mean you'd be pretty happy with that in most instances, but if you keep watching it's going to take even more of it around uh, out of the test bed and in the end we just get end up with a little bit around the sides which you know, in this instance we just wiped up with a paper towel when we were finished and uh, it was as easy as that, there was no, uh, no oil left at all. Again, just a good graphic display of how the oil gets drawn towards the, the pipe. So you can just see it getting pulled in and it actually pulls it right off the side, just continues to pull it off the side of the, which would be your bilge. Um, it just doesn't stop until there's really no oil left at all. And again, this, uh, this is a really good display here of, uh, just watch that uh, big clump on the right hand side as it moves towards the green tube and whoomphah down it goes, down the spout. Very very efficient and effective and it just continues to draw the oil towards it. In this uh, test we run for about 40 minutes but I, I would imagine if you just had this going constantly, uh, which we haven't done yet um, to see, eventually there would be no oil at all left in the bath. Obviously there's a little bit of residue as the tide line on the side of the tank was a lot higher. Um, but I would, I would imagine if we poured water in there and filled it up past that tide line, even that would go. It's so efficient at just continually um, removing the oil. Very simple unit to um, install obviously, very simple unit to um, do any maintenance on. There's really only four moving parts in the unit. Um, when you take the side of it, there's uh, the squeegee. So we're coming up to the 20 minute mark now. 
So you can see after just 20 minutes ticking away, not a lot dripping out of the the uh, hose now. It's it's taken the majority or the bulk of the oil off the top, which is really what you want to do. Uh, now what it's doing is just cleaning up the, the residue, if you like. And even when the tank's completely clean, you can just see like a diesel-like slick on the top of the water, so really no oil as such. Even still, it keeps drawing that away and up the pipe as well, so incredibly efficient. Yeah, as I was saying before, just to, um, to do maintenance, you can see on the unit itself on the right-hand side, Brett's just going to come on, he's going to start it again after the 20-minute cycle. Uh, if you look on the unit on the right-hand side, you can just see the round wheel there. That side comes off that and there's a wheel drum that uh, pulls this pipe up and around and then there's a little squeegee as well that sucks the oil off the pipe itself, the tube, and returns it down the drain pipe into your, um, your bucket as we have it set up here. So you can see now after 30 minutes and all that oil poured in, all that's left around the sides is um, a pretty minimal amount. And at the 40 minute mark, you can see now that there's basically not a lot coming out of the spout at all. So we'll just go to a close up now and just see what's left in the bath. So very, very uh, efficient way of getting rid of that horrible water. And look how clear the water is. You know, basically, considering what we had was a, a massive disaster or a potentially a huge fine if it had been pumped over the side, now you're dealing with uh, next to nothing and you've got a whole bucket full of oil.